it in. Welcome down to Devon Koi Pond. Well, as a day again, had some blooming good ones this week. Fish are all up for food. Temps are uh, over nine degrees again today. I'll be jumping around a bit on this video because I've got some uh, stuff from uh, a few days back. The box, as you see, sat in there on the bench. Been starting to weld that up. I've got other things to do. Um, as you can see, I'm far away from the poo. Oh, yeah. Basically, in this video, I'll be jumping in. I've been building the second filter box for the magnetry stuff. Um, but I've been busy, so it's a bit bitty. But uh, I won't show you all the welding, but I've done some of the welding. I've got some more to do. Next video, I might be fitting it. I honestly don't know. But let's have a uh, quick jibby with a fish down here. Because uh, they're up the king for food, so you might as well see them. As you can see, they're all pretty keen. Temps have been uh, well up this week. Jags really uh, wanting their food, but uh, haven't been overfeeding them, but just enough. As like I said, I've been laser cutting. Started the new filter box. If you haven't already, please get over, smash like, subscribe over here somewhere. But a view vigors on the last video was a bit low, which I'm surprised at, but no, you can't win them all. We'll soon be moving into summer. I've got a little bit on uh, saving yourself some power because I know it's becoming more and more crucial with everybody now. Like electric costs and everything. The pond here at the moment's ticking over about 135, 140 watts. All right, and uh, I'm making enough solar most days, probably in there now, even with this uh, weak water and sunshine, I'm up around 100 watts or over. Get a clear day in the winter and I'll probably get four hours of free running and uh, probably another four hours of half the power so uh, it does knock a fair bit off the bill but we'll have a look at that as well got to clean the filters in a minute so let's take you over uh, to the school a minute let's go pop up there first and uh, let's uh, I'll cut the filter box off okay let's a bit of cutting the bottom holes a bit noisy apologize for that Basically there now, it's just cutting the uh, outside uh, square around it. So that's all those holes cut precisely. And uh, now it'll whip around and cut the outside of it out. As you can see, smoky as anything, but apparently this plastic's uh, not one of the ones that uh, the fumes are totally dangerous. We've got a big extractor in the room here as well, so that's uh, sucking out most of it before it gets anywhere near here and it's been pulled out through the machine as well. But definitely a bit smoky.
she comes, as she gets to the left hand corner, that's the finish of the cut, and that's the bottom of the box, and uh, then I'll work out all the rest of the uh, cuts from that. The box is going to be the same size as uh, the other one, but it'll sit 40mm uh, lower in the water. I'll lay it all out on the bench out here in a minute before I cut the sides on the uh, table saw and you'll be able to see roughly what's going on. And there she is. Job done. Let's have a quick look at the time, see how long it did take. I think I had a bit too much power there because I got a lot of smoke out of that. So that should cut there it was 14 and a half minutes. Yeah, should have been shorter than that. So I had the cutting speed a bit slow. I forget things, but there's all uh, whatever settings I had it on last time off the bottoms I guessed it. Right, let's get this out into the uh, saw room in a minute and on the bench. Okay, right, here in the classroom you've got what's left of a GCSE engineering group at the moment, isn't it lads? Yeah! Everybody happy? Yeah! Everybody COVID free? Yeah! Yeah, alright. Yeah, that's what goes on in the classroom here. As little as possible. <laughs> right, say bye, boys. Bye. bye. Okay, so a bit of laser cutting, a bit of work on the saw. We've got all the bits here. We need to put this box together. Righty out. Let's get back to the uh, workshop at home. Okay, absolutely beautiful day down here today. We've had the coldest night that we've had this year. It's all minus six as I went low last night. Frost this morning was unbelievable. We were now about 11 o'clock in the morning. Covers have uh, de-iced themselves. Been not too bad this week. Pond been up over 10, 10.5 I saw one day. We'll have a quick look at the moment. Got the cover open a crack. Fish have had some food this morning because even with that cold night, we got nine degrees and it's gonna and it's warming 8.9 nine degrees it's warming up it'll get back that degree today maybe degree and a half no problem with the sun on right let's get in the workshop filter build part two here we go right So, there's a camera just in itself. Excuse uh, the mess a minute. Can't be helped. Majorly busy in here. Right. So any of them waiting for laser stuff, I'm getting there. Half term soon. I'll be able to catch up on everything. I'm a little bit behind at the moment, but I will catch up. Right. What have we been up to? Well, this is the bits I cut up the school. So I've got the uh, divider plates two sides, bottom, two ends, I'll get the weld right in a minute and we'll go over it, this end's nice, this end unfortunately, we had a visit from Mr. Cockup, and I'm hoping you can see this, I set the machine going to cut it, and then realised I hadn't updated the program, it was cutting on one of the older ones, Oh shit, I have cut that out. So we'll have to run the weld around on the top of that, fill that hole back in. Well, in the complete hole, but it's bloody close. But that's what happens when you get a visit from Mr. Cock up. Right, so I'll be marking this box out. I'll show you everything in a minute when I get set up on the bench. It's going to be exactly the same size as the last box, but the wheel bar in the height, it's one centimeter shorter in height, but it will sit on a stand that's 40 millimeters four centimeters shorter than the other one so it should be just under water level probably by about a centimeter at the current flow rates through the pond i'm reckoning on about flow rates the filters at the moment pumps ponds running fine over here solar's ticking away sun's out today big smile on the face because we're making in the sun here over 130 140 watts look so today the pond's running for free because the free pumps I have got going water pumps I've got the one going in the answer the skimmer pump is going 
plus the bottom drain pump, but they're all running at about 30 watts, 35 watts each. So the biggest draw actually is the air pump, that's 55. So by my reckoning, I should be uh, just about even there or just under. Bloody close, and the sun's uh, got a few more hours left in it. I think it's going to be out all day. So any of you thinking of saving money, a bit of a solar setup will take a lot of the edge of it off. We'll have a tot up when we get round uh, to the two years running. But uh, at the moment here, I'm past 100, 107 pounds, 34 pence. Um, and I've got until January, February, April, 24th of April. Um, and whatever it's reading then is how much it's saved in two years. Plus, charging the batteries whenever I've used them. The lighting in the workshop here, it's LED, 12 volt. All right, got two strip lights. It runs all the lighting in the workshop, and uh, the lighting's been on a lot, so it's running at saving me a few pennies. And everybody needs to pinch a few pennies with the cost of the electric coming up. Anyway, let's get this stuff out, set up on the bench. I'll go over the uh, welder because a few people have asked for a little bit more detail on the welding settings and such like. It's a kind of suck and see thing, but let's get the gear out and we'll have a look. Okay, right. Now I've kind of found with the PP here that it wants to be about a quarter of the way round. Um, on the clock face, I'd say, well, a bit more than a quarter, nine, ten o'clock, right? For these little rods that I'm using, it wants to be at about nine or ten o'clock. Even with the new glasses, I can't actually read what's bloody written on there. Right, I've got the uh, tacky nozzle on that I made at the moment. That one works very well. I'll set this all going in a second. This is the uh, nozzle I'm using at the moment, all right? It's uh, for round, uh, there we go, it's for round rod, but I'm favoring these small triangular rods, all right? If it's focusing on that, I'm favoring them down through this. Um, I said I'm not going for watertight. Watching uh, Steve from Cat and I the other day trying to uh, get that thing watertight. I appreciate uh, the struggle it is. I've uh, been there and tried to get that watertight. I just think it'd be a lot easier with stuff like this. I've not got to worry on this one. It'll uh, just come through and sit down quite nicely on the nozzle there and just fill in the gap because it's in water. I don't have to worry about little leaks. But I'm fairly confident that uh, they will be waterproof anyway or will hold water. Right, I'll set up and get the welding uh, underway, I'll get it all tacked together, three sides on. You saw it all last time, so I will show a little bit, but uh, I'll fast forward 99% of it at a tremendous speed so you can see it. Right, I'll get on and do this a minute, and uh, we'll be back with you. I'll, set, I'll try and set the camera up so you can see a bit of it, but uh, it's going to be running really fast. Catch you in a bit. little lip underneath the bottom of this box so that when the air goes up it'll catch and just hopefully go through the hose so I'll just get it caught on here a minute
Okay, leave me to finish tacking this one up and then I'll get on to the welding. Yes, it's a ad for my own work. Here's me uh, cutting a small little uh, freebie that I throw in with some of the uh, purchases. I'm just uh, using up the uh, circles that are left over from cutting out the uh, filter sheets. So there, this is the uh, 81, 82 millimeter circles I've cut out uh, for the media, I'm just using them up. But this is, uh, gives you an idea of the kind of detail I can do down here. Okay, so these are actually this size, you can tell when you get the focus on it. Dusty at the moment. But this is the kind of detail I can do on stuff. Now, those of you that are looking for stuff via channel, this was a tester I did when I did Marex um, because of the font he had, it was uh, too fine, but this was a tester I did to see if it would stay stuck together and uh, it didn't. So this one's 300 round, um, Marex, uh, Marex is slightly different to this, if you haven't checked his channel out already get over and have a look there. I did this for Merrick, um, an individual one like this, square all round, around the uh, 300 uh, by 300 marks, probably around 80 pounds, alright, and the reason they cost that much, they will last more or less forever, 20 years sort of plus, the acrylic doesn't degrade outside in sunlight, but they're assembled like a jigsaw puzzle, so there's one cut of white there, one cut of black, one cut of red, and then they're all stuck together like a big jigsaw puzzle onto a backing. So it takes a minute or two, but they do come out really nice. So with that, you would also get two subscriber plaques in uh, red with white and white with red letters on, plus two YouTube buttons for around the £80 mark for something about this size. So if you've got a channel and you're thinking about it, this is what we can do. We had to alter the swan a little bit on Merrick's one as well. The light line along there is what uh, the LEDs in the laser cutter are shining down on it. But uh, that one ended up about 300 by 300 So if you're thinking about it, contact me for a price. Because if it's not as complicated, it could be a little bit cheaper or a little bit more. All right, get on with the video, Martin. Okay, so, uh, so that's as far as I've got. And... Uh, I've got to be perfectly honest, I cut a couple bits wrong on this box, wrong size, I don't know what's going on, my brain just wasn't in it, I was busy on other things, so I've kind of muffed it up. Big visit from Mr. Cockup, um, but I had spare bits there, I cut that hole out by half mistake and then was going to weld it up and nah, that ain't good enough for me, so I cut another end panel to fit it. But the box is in there, it's uh, half tacked, half welded. I'll uh, be finishing that off in the next video and probably go up to the uh, actually installing it, but we'll see. But hope you're following uh, some of the new channels that are popping up online. There's uh, quite a few popping up on YouTube at the moment. Uh, have a hunt around if you can find a new channel that looks worth it. Pop in, give them a sub and a thumbs up. But for me, Downey and Devon, for now, I'm going to get on over and uh, give these filters a clean before it rains or gets too bloody cold. But while it's nice, I'm gonna give them a clean. So, from down here in sunny Devon, I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.